Yo, what's going on guys? Josh here back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team tip video and today we're going to be learning about how to make coins. Now I have nearly 300,000 coins and a loot kickily that I could sell the 95 team style version that usually goes for about 200k uh, if I wanted to. So I could have nearly 500 coins already within the first week of the game and I haven't spent any money on this game. So I re recommend using these tips to try to make some coins quick and easy. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, solo challenges are very very crucial this year even more crucial than last year now the easiest way to make coins in Madden 15 ultimate team are these solo challenges they give you tons of coins they tend to rack up especially in the regular season but you can see i have over 100 done and i've been grinding out this game uh that's really the main reason why i have all these coins right now because i got the style uh masters and I sold the Peyton Manning, and that's he, that's where a lot of chuck my coins are coming from. So you want to do these styles, uh, solos, and especially just all the solos in general because you're gonna need them to get the 99 Richard Sherman and get that one million coins. Now something that's a little bit more advanced, but you can get down really simple just by checking the auction house a little bit more often. And so you can snipe players that go in these elite sets. Now I recommend sniping the silver players just because people really don't check them out that much. All you want to do is go to the set and look up the card you're searching for. Like I said, I recommend searching for the silver players. And you can see this Kevin Hayden. He usually goes for a 9 to 10k. I sniped them many times for just you no know, 1k from putting up, putting up silver cards. Think that they have no value and they don't really go into anything. They just don't check, they don't look, and then you know they just have a little awareness. And you can just go ahead and pick it up, resell it, and make you know 9 to 10k. Really simple. And my last and final tip for you guys today is try to complete these warehouse item sets. Now, I recommend doing the bronze coaches set because it is the cheapest. Maybe the stadiums are there too. The playbook's a little bit more expensive because they actually contain pretty good playbooks that people want, like the Eagles playbook and the 49ers offense playbook. Um, uniforms are usually a little bit more expensive. Like I said, I recommend the stadiums. The main thing that you want to do is to be very disciplined with your coins. So. You don't want to be buying coaches for 500 coins because if you buy every coach, if you buy 30 coaches for 500 coins, that's 15,000 coins you're going to be spending. And that's just totally unnecessary. You don't want to be doing that. So what you want to be doing is trying to get these coaches for 100 coins a pop. You want to be very disciplined. If you don't see it up for 100 coins, then maybe don't go and buy it. You know, depending on how many coins you have, you can be a little bit more lenient. I have a little bit more coins. So if I see a coach for 200 coins, I just go ahead and buy it out but you want to be more lenient depending on how many coins you have so that's my final tip for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it let's try to break 100 likes on this video as well i'm out peace what's going on guys josh here and this is going to be a video helping you beat any solo challenge giving you the best place to run against the cpu now the first place is going to be a, a trap an 01 trap uh, i recommend having the philadelphia eagles playbook for 